everybody welcome back to another popcorn thank you all for clicking on this video if you guys are new my name is stephanie so today we're going to be doing or attempting to do the 2020 oscar predictions so they're going to announce the nominations but i broke my pin i was too excited and nervous okay oh so they're going to announce the nominations tomorrow so i'm not going to be doing a reaction to the nominations because when they are announcing them i'm actually going to be driving into work and I'm not gonna wait till like 6 30 to come home to figure out who was nominated to do a reaction video because there's no way that I'm going to be able to last until then without looking. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you. But let's go ahead and get on with who I think is going to get nominated. I'm sure from all the prediction videos that you've seen, most of these lists are gonna be about the same. There might be like one or two different. Let's go ahead and start off with supporting actor um, now the three front runners um in my opinion are brad pitt joe pesci and al pacino i feel like those are just like for sure lock-ins um, in my fourth pick i'm putting uh tom hanks i feel like he also is a shoe-in to get nominated I mean, now for my fifth and final pick this is where i was like Ugh! i don't know so it's between i feel anthony hopkins from the two popes and i'm gonna for sure botch his name song kong ho from parasite now as a reminder i have not seen parasite yet i'm hoping to watch it before the actual award show because for sure it's gonna get nominated for a foreign picture so i feel like it's gonna be between those two but i I put Anthony as my fifth pick just because I haven't seen Parasite and honestly I really haven't seen um, Song's name really mentioned that much. So I haven't messed up on Turn It Off but I feel like Anthony is going to be the one that, that that's going to take it. So we ran along to Supporting Actress. Um, again Laura Dern I feel like is an absolute shoe-in. In my number two spot I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put it give it to Margot Robbie for Bombshell. Um, I don't think she'll get one for Hollywood. And I seriously don't think that they're gonna do a double nomination like they did at the BAFTAs. And if Margot does get one, I think it's going to be for Bombshell and not for Hollywood. So um I'm putting her as my number two pick. My number three pick, I'm giving it to Scarlett Johansson. I I doubt that she'll get it because I know for sure she's gonna get it for actress for marriage story like she has to so i'm still putting her down for jojo rabbit because i freaking love that movie and so i'm putting her down for both supporting and lead actress so fingers crossed i probably should have her at my number five but i'm very hopeful I'm, I'm very very hopeful my number fourth pick um again i'm gonna botch her name like horribly um zao shusen from the farewell very slim possibility but i'm gonna give it to her i really do because i feel like she really really does deserve it um and in fifth place i'm gonna give it to uh jennifer lopez for hustlers um yeah no from the golden globes i really I, i'm not a big fan of that movie potential potential like who could take you know like um zao or even scarlet's place because again i'm a little bit unsure about those I think that possibly Nicole Kidman also from Bombshell could get it and uh, Florence Pugh from Little Women which I haven't seen either. Those are my two alternatives and I feel like those two may be a little bit more like reasonable than the ones that I have. But let's go ahead and move on to lead actor. Um, again the first two that I have on my list are for sure shoe-ins and that's going to be Joaquin Phoenix for Joker and Adam Driver for um, Marriage Story. Coming in third place is actually a surprise um, because I actually had him as my fourth pick but given his win at the Globes I'm putting uh, Taron Egerton for Rocketman as my number three pick which I also have not seen yet. Leonardo DiCaprio for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and then my fifth place it was between Antonio Banderas, Jonathan Price, and Christian Bell. Christian Bell at this point, I feel like he doesn't really have a place in here as much, as much as I would love for him to have a place. I love 4B Ferrari, I do. But he is actually my seventh pick. I think it's going to come down between Antonio and Jonathan. And even though I feel like Jonathan's going to be the one that's going to get the nomination, I'm going to put Antonio as my number five pick for um, Pain and Glory. 
I haven't seen that movie either, but from what I've heard is that he does amazing and he deserves this this nomination. Um, so I'm gonna put Antonio. I think it's gonna go to Jonathan. All right, moving on to lead actress. Top two contenders would be Renee Zellweger for Judy and Scarlett Johansson for Marriage Story. I personally feel like you need to have those two on your list. Um, coming in third place, I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, Charlize Theron for um, Bombshell. And in fourth place, I'm going with Sorshin Rowan for Little Women, which again, I haven't seen. Now, my fifth place, okay? I feel like it's going to come down to Aquafina or Cynthia Irville. Irville? Yeah, yeah, I know how I win names. Lupita Nyong'o for us could possibly get it. I know they're like pushing her to get nominated a lot. I honestly don't really think she will. Just because um, it is based on Harriet Tubman and just to kind of make it more diverse. Um, I think at this point Cynthia may be the only um, person that I have on here that's not white. So am I being so white as well? Um, I mean technically Aquafina's not white. I'm putting Aquafina. And Cynthia's gonna be six. I feel like Cynthia's gonna be the one that's gonna get it, to be honest with you. I, I think so. We're right along to screenplay. Now, um, I have Once Upon a Hot Time in Hollywood as my number one pick. Then I have 1917. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put Marriage Story as my number two. And then 1917, three, Parasite coming in fourth place. And then Knives Out as my fifth choice. Um, possibility, I feel like the farewell may get nominated instead of Knives Out, but I feel like the first four that I have are pretty good lock-ins. Alright, cinematography. 1917, obviously. I mean, they did the whole damn movie looking like it's one shot. I honestly feel like 1917 is going to win, but, but we'll get to that once I get to my winner prediction video. So, 1917 first pick, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood as second. I'm going to go ahead and put Irishman as number three. Joker is number four, and even though I have not seen it, I've heard great things about it, and the Academy does like its black and white films, so we're going to go ahead and put The Lighthouse on there. Um, again, I have not seen that one. Now, a possibility that could get nominated, I'm going to put Ford v. Ferrari on there. I, I think that that could maybe get something. All right, you guys, we're down to my last two categories. I'm not doing like everything on here because I'm not an expert, obviously. Um, so I really don't feel like I have enough knowledge for all the categories to really put in my two cents. Um, so we're, we're not gonna do everything. But uh, final two, um, director. Now my first four I feel are pretty good lock-ins. Um, I have uh, Martin Corsese, Quentin Tarantino, Sam Mendes. And Bong Joon-ho. Now, for my fifth pick, it's in between Greta Gerwig for Little Women, Tom Phillips, Joker, and Noam Baumbach for Marriage Story. Yeah, I know how I feel about Marriage Story. At this point, Noah has been screwed. So, as much as I would love for him to get nominated, I'm putting him as my seventh pick. Now, if he gets nominated, I'm going to be like over the moon. But at this point, I feel like he's out. I really do. So between Greta and Todd, I feel like they're going to give it to Todd Phillips. I really do. Me personally, again, I'm going to go back with the Oscars So Why with the no women directors were being nominated. And because I got to stick with my girls and, you know, girl power, I'm going to put Greta Gerwig as my number fifth pick. Hopefully, we get her because, again, then it'll be like on nothing but mouth. We know the controversy that's going to go with that for her not to be nominated. I fingers crossed. Girl power. Woohoo. This whole the Academy gets out of its high horse, gets out of its like macho man shit and nominates Greta. Okay, so my final category, best picture. Now, 2019 was an amazing year. So we can get up to 10 best picture nominations. All right. I don't think we'll get 10. I'm going more towards like seven or eight. Um, I have eight on my list and then of course I have possibilities like like always. Okay. I'm gonna move that one up you guys. Alright, so 
Sorry, I'm still moving stuff around, you guys. Okay, my number one pick is going to be 1917 and won the Golden Globe, which was very surprising for me. But I'm going to put that one as my number one pick. Moved Once Upon a Time in Hollywood up to second place. Irishman as my number two pick. But at this point, I... People are not really responding to it as well as they were before, but I think it's still going to get nominated. But actually, you know what? I'm moving it down further down. I really am. Um, I'm going to have Marriage Story as my number three pick. And then I have Parasite for... I'll put The Irishman as my number fifth pick. And in six, I'm, I had Joker. It's so hard, you guys. My, like, last two picks. I have them on here, but I'm still kind of, like, debating myself. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say Little Women. Even though we possibly won't get eight Best Picture nominations. Um, realistically, if we do, I'm thinking possibly Bombshell is going to get it. It's going to get in. I'd rather it not. I wasn't that big of a fan of it, but... The Farewell has a, a, a possibility, but I don't know if they would nominate two foreign films. Has it happened before? I, I honestly, I, I don't know. If it has, let me know down below. Me, because I love the movie so much, I put Jojo Rabbit. And I feel like that is the one that could really like sneak its way into a Best Picture nomination, to be honest with you. like, Well, two other ones that I was thinking that could possibly get one would be Knives Out and 4B Ferrari. I don't know, you guys. This is very stressful, you guys. It's very stressful. So, you think that I'm going to be able to wait till 6.30 when I come home from work to do a reaction video? Hell no, I'm not going to be able to wait till that. If anything... Maybe I'll do like an Instagram like live or just Instagram story so you can follow me on Instagram I may do something on there. I, I really don't know but like here's my Instagram handle um, It's also in the description box down below. Um, you can go and check me out there Of course once the nominations come out, um, I'll do a winner prediction video Possibly the day before the Oscars come out that seems to be what I do and then of course the reaction video because my Golden Globes reaction video actually is doing really really well so you guys seem to enjoy those type of videos let me know down below what your predictions are once the nominations come up come back let me know how you did how I did I don't know we'll see we'll see this is very exciting times you guys award season is here yes all right, before you guys click on this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!